right, just been picking up our last supplies at a local outdoor adventure store. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> so this is uh, our local store. Promise. This is a nutrition video. This is a, a layout of all our nutrition for six days on the Drakensberg Grand Traverse. This is Kyle, and hey guys, we're gonna take you through the steps of what we're planning to eat every day. Starting my day off with a tailwind caffeinated uh, green buzz something. Then I'm gonna take over from midday uh, about 10 uh, mid morning 10 o'clock sage uh, far bars and steep uphills you know if you see a proper climb coming up you go over to a groove just gives you that extra boost and uh, another far bar perhaps you can swap it around and uh, I've got a meal replacement here uh, that's in sure gold uh, mixed with uh, future life high protein and chia seeds so during the day just to get things rolling I'm uh, ginger for the altitude that's always a good idea to have some ginger um, and some chili tarts just to have sugar levels going and um, so after the run oh mid, mid, midday so we go we each have got a bag of uh, wraps uh, in Oh, yeah, we tuna. add some tuna to that. That's a full meal. And taking off then the after the run for the day, about 10, about 10, 12 hours. I'm going with a recovery. It's uh, this is my favorite flavor. And then we off to some pasta. And. Uh, just a, so cheese is too heavy. Kyle said cheese is too heavy. We're gonna make a plan, and we are going for dry cheese. So yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, bultong, uh, powdered bultong. If you want to add some meat to that. So day two for Kyle. Okay, day two. Start off with a ace free meal replacement. Also with some chia seeds in it, and. Uh, then during the day, just to keep the energy levels uh, at a constant pace, I have S3 um, low GI sports drink as well, two of them, uh, something sweet to eat during the day, just to a morale boost. And uh, some wine gums, evening we have some pasta uh, with the cheese that Van Eck mentioned, maybe some bottom and uh, a little bit salami and then of course a recovery drink also s3 uh, recovery drink after after the long day and that's day two so the cooking set is one of the last nutritional things it's uh, a one liter cooking set with a gas burner and it consists of two parts the smaller which I'm going to use as a cup so this is just my coffee cup in the morning also I'm eating out of this so to clean it out all up a little sponge like this and a little gas burner so we've got some coffee um, just it, it, it's <laughs> it's called coffee ice uh, some sunlight liquid, uh, a lighter. Now I've attached this little rope here, so it's got a reflective tape on it, so at night you don't struggle to find it. Then we've got this little gas bottle. It says here it can do up to 24 boils. Now that that's at normal altitude, so we expect that to, to come a little bit down at higher altitude. So once we make our coffee um, or cook, we'll 
we'll just attach this one folds up like that and we can cook our pasta in here and then once we're done we'll half it and we each have a pot to eat out of and that's how we're going to do our cooking so moving on from there um, this is another item I, I promised to make a video of it, which is uh, the first aid kit I always take duct tape with me so I've duct tape you can patch your tent your bag your feet if you have to space blanket and some a nice stretchable if you if you spray your ankle or anything like that you can use that so in this little bag yeah um, I do it, it looks like a lot of painkillers it's gin pain and salt pills rather have it not need it than need it and not have it um, I'm taking quite a bit of cramp cramp blocks almost for each day I do struggle with a bit of cramps and normal plasters um, so it's the wide ones the v-shaped ones that type of plasters um, iron so I've recently realized um, if I, if my body temperature drops quite significantly uh, you know around about the age of 40 you, you do struggle I do with um, not struggle with iron but high intensity exercises long duration of exercises you do, do need a bit of extra iron to compensate that a spare this is a spare lighter you never know um, using a normal small big <laughs> and then kinetic tapes this is for blister care and all that rehydrate so you might I might need this uh, you never know uh, it's always too good to have some rehydrate then it's a little a kit that can if my the tent got a leak at the at the tub section um, so it's the glue and then the bostic um, so if you do have a deeper cut you can always pinch it together glue it and tape it then I my old trusty friend I've never gone on a hike not using it it's literally I've used it on each and every hike before it's a normal little thing like this attached to the lid um, so I've got thread and a needle yeah needle and then also a nappy pin so don't know why I've used it before but um, little nifty little compact little kit doesn't weigh anything so <laughs> it's very very handy mm, some extra salt you might use it in your food I've always taken extra salt so more kinetic tape the longer stretches already been cut I think point so you just apply that then bliss the plasters so these ones are fantastic for it's got that jelly bit in it and then um, then Imodium and um, Dexa th things yeah it, it's for allergies and if you do come across that you, you can use that that wraps it up for the nutrition just want to say take this opportunity and say thank you to our sponsors ultra 360 our local gear to Harald Birkes um, that's been helping us advising us and taking us um, through the steps of what what we might need and being assistant with that thank you very much for the views if you did find this video helpful in any way please like and subscribe many more to come and follow us along <laughs>